There's a dog begging to come in. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to try to crush you. You must have belly rubs. You simply must. All right, you may have some. Hi everyone, I recently remodeled, very inexpensively by the way, my YouTube studio room. So I wanted to show that to you. And I always get questions about some of the things that I have on display in my background. So I'm gonna tell you about all the stuff in my room, or a lot of it anyway, and what it is or what it means if it has some meaning. So hopefully you'll be interested in this if you're just interested in what I've done in my studio, if you're already familiar with my channel, or maybe if you're a YouTuber or thinking about becoming a YouTuber and you're interested in seeing someone else's setup, or if you're interested in these luxury handbag videos and you wanna see how I store my things. Uh-oh, there's another dog, hold on. Hello, other dog. Oh, dear. I'm filming this at 6.30 in the morning and she's already bullying her brother. So let's get started. <laughs> Hi YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about luxury living on a budget from high-end luxury handbags and small goods to the everyday luxuries of life. If that sounds interesting to you, please make sure you subscribe, click the bell notification icon to be notified when I post new videos, and be sure to like the videos that you enjoy. And one of the perks of subscribing to my channel is you get to see my community post on your YouTube homepage where I post deals, discount codes, sales, and rare finds related to these beautiful things we love. Let's look at this office. First of all, this was my setup before, in case you're not familiar with it. This is how all of my videos looked for the past couple of years. I sat in this one spot and didn't do much different from that, but this new setup is going to allow me several different filming opportunities. Also, let me say one thing up front about the lighting. Like I said, I'm filming this at 6.30 in the morning and I just redid the studio. I have not figured out my new lighting situation yet. So right now I'm filming handheld with my vlogging camera and I have, I'm gonna show you this little clip light attached to it. So that is what is keeping some light on my face. And if the lighting is terrible at any point in this video, Please forgive me for that because I am still working on it. Let's start with an overview of the room. My desk used to be right here. It stuck out and then the wall was behind me. I have since moved my desk over here in this corner and I can see out the window now, which is nice. And I got these shelving units. They're all three the same, even though I don't have doors on this one. They're from Target. They were $200 each. I have one, two, three of them. The reason this one doesn't have doors is because it arrived damaged and one of the doors had this huge crack in it, so I couldn't use it, so I'm just using it open like that. On the top are all handbags I'm planning to sell soon. My next video should be a vlog sale. So if you see anything up there, it's mostly gonna be these pieces, which are vintage coach and a few other things. If you see anything you're interested in, let me know. Here's a closer up look of those shelving units. They do have a shelf inside, and there's another shelf that can go along here. They are adjustable, so you can put them at different heights. And I have the extra shelves leaning against the wall right there, so I can put them in as needed for different filming configurations. So that was one side of the room. Here's the other side. That's where I was just standing. There are the dogs. Please excuse all these things. That's all Christmas and Vlogmas related. All right, let's start over here and start looking at things in more detail. That's a photograph that I took in Venice. This is a photograph that a friend took in Haiti after a hurricane, these girls were waiting in line for food. And that's a photo I took in Florence, Italy. On this shelving unit, I have my black handbags, most of them anyway. And at the bottom, there's a black dog and my beautiful brown dog. My desk is set up like this. It's actually a kitchen table from Ikea or somewhere else, Target, I don't remember. And then this piece of wood is larger than the top of the table because I wanted more workspace. So I just laid that on top of the table. You can see the setup there. And my aunt works for a glass company. So she had a piece of glass cut for me to fit that. I have these three risers. It's glass one here, that one, and then that one. Those give me some elevation for things on the desk and also extra storage space to put things underneath. My two laptops, my monitor, speaker system, a clock that needs a new battery, some little knickknacks that are important to me. This is a jewelry box I got at TJ Maxx. It has a really pretty little design on it. And inside I have, instead of jewelry, office supplies. My pencil cut was a vase from a small flower arrangement at my grandmother's funeral. On the wall next to my desk, this painting is the one that used to be behind me in my old setup. And these two photos are both New York City. That's the mall in Central Park and that's Times Square. 
and I purchased those from the photographer on the sidewalk outside the Metropolitan Museum of Art when I used to live in New York. I moved my floor-length mirror from my closet out here, so now I can do outfits of the day if I feel so inclined. Flower arrangements, an old camera that belonged to someone in the family, storage, books that look pretty in the background. My sister gave me that little gold camera. Diptyque candle, dachshunds, there's another dachshund sculpture somewhere. This is a drawing that a dear friend of mine gave to me, the same person that did the paintings I'll show you in a minute, the very colorful ones. This was given to me by Will McCason when I reached a thousand subscribers. He also reached a thousand around the same time and so did a few other people and he sent these to all of us. My mom gave me that sign. It's become a staple in my YouTube background. Storage boxes with office supplies. I have a few boxes up here and the books that I plan to use as decoration but also as risers for things. This candle is from Fashion File. They sent me, t they sent that to me last year flower arrangement. That drawing was done by an elephant at the Houston Zoo when I used to volunteer over there. There's the other dachshund sculpture. There's me and Sebastian, and this dog used to be in the background of my videos. That's Ginger. A lot of people have asked about her. She was rescued by the Houston SBCA after Hurricane Ike in Galveston, and we fostered her and then adopted her. She died of cancer a few years ago. Two Louis Vuitton books, mini Speedy, flowers, more Louis Vuitton books. That's an old photo of my sister and I. A little Waterford vase, some of my fancy planners. Have I ever shown this picture to you guys, Roxanne Barron? We went to one of those old timey photo places and got them dressed up and got a picture together. They're so cute. More boxes to use as risers. My grandfather made this. He used to make these little bears. He was part of a volunteer organization called Hug -A Bears, and they would make these bears out of donated fabric and then donate the bears to children's hospitals. And after he died, there was a big bag of them. This is the back of it. At the house, several people in the family took one. And I thought the turquoise one had to be for me. And I also have a few of these bag stands here to display bags while I'm filming. Over here I have my big comfy chair that the dogs love to sit in. A nice lamp. Got this lamp at Target years ago and you can adjust it and make it dimmable. A drawing of Sebastian that a friend of mine got made for me after he died. Roxy again. Mostly art books. Again, Christmas Wogmas. Forget you saw that. These are the very colorful paintings. People always ask about these two, and that's my dear friend who did them, and he did that little airplane drawing. More handbag shelves with lots of handbags, floor to ceiling, then my little hallway down here, and then this is my closet where I have a lot of other things stored and all my fanciest handbags or bags that I wouldn't want to get too dusty. So I'm thinking one filming setup, sorry I'm a, I'm a little wobbly, I'm hand holding this and it's not steady, but one filming setup could be like this, which you've seen already, and then another, adjust the camera somewhere else, but could be me standing here or further back. I'm not sure, I haven't figured all this out yet. With the shelves in the background and you can see handbags and whatever else. And that would be better for mod shots than the setup that I had before. And right now my comfy chair is over here. Hello, Roxy. But I could also move the chair out and do this. And then I'm thinking I can sit here and have the shelving behind me. And that looks nice, doesn't it? Look who's joined me. Yeah, something like this. I really like this shot. I think that looks nice. And it doesn't look too boxed in like it did before, right? Where I was standing in front of the two is more like this. That was a little flat and not as interesting, but that's better, right? Yeah, I like this. Have to move some things and get rid of some of the reflections. Maybe move a dog or two, maybe not. What do you think of the new office setup? I think she likes it. She's so funny. Baron just came in here and acted like nothing had changed. Roxy comes in and still, I've had this set up for a week or two now and she'll walk in and just look around and stand there and sort of take everything in. She's always been a very curious dog or very interested in things. Plus, if you ignore that light, I've got a nice view. All right, let me know what you guys think of the new setup and some of the different arrangements I have for filming. Any ideas you have? I have been listening to you. You've left me some really good comments. I appreciate it. I have taken some of that into consideration and implemented some of it. I think you can tell that. So I hope you like it let me know. A few people have asked about the shelving, so I will link that below. I do like it 
I don't know that I would necessarily recommend it because two of the three shelves arrived damaged. So I guess that just depends on how careful they are shipping to you. I don't know. They're pretty though, I think. I think they look nice. Let me know if you saw something in here that I didn't talk about that you have a question about and I will try to answer that for you. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed the office tour. Thank you guys for tuning in. Hope to see you back here next time. I hope you and your loved ones are doing well. And Roxy and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.